morning today it's the 19th of May and today yesterday we cannot find a place to camp so 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 we was down the road here to a restaurant really close to the attractions but okay good morning this is a Saturday breakfast here from uh, the entrance to Ilara Valley and we are today on something new this is called car park camping we are allowed to put our tent down there you can see hidden away around the back of the car park <laughs> bushes are coming there <laughs> wasn't what we was expecting yesterday we was uh, we told there was a nice campsite here with grass and facilities and all kinds of nice things <laughs> So it was a little bit difficult yesterday to find the perfect place to camp. Yes. No, it's okay. Now we're on car park camping. We've got a nice valley to explore today, down there. And hopefully we can get our Iran book today. That's the big plan as well, the big project today. So we'll see. Okay, so this is car park camping. I actually wasn't too happy with it yesterday when we came, but now we just found out that this is actually the main entrance to Ilara Valley. The best place to get into the valley. So now it's actually <laughs> quite good we ended up to, ended up here really. Uh, the valley behind me is where we're camping. Actually 14 kilometers long. It starts in uh, Ilara, the town where we are here, and goes all the way to Salima, the town where we cycled to yesterday where you saw those uh, cave rock formations and it's 14 kilometers you can enter from here this is four kilometers into the valley um, which is the main entrance where a lot of people enter from from here um, but there's all kinds of uh, caves and churches from the Christian Christian times um, wall paintings and rock paintings and uh, yeah all kinds of things to explore and look around so it's a uh, turned out to be quite a good place we're camping actually so <laughs> so now we're just going to go and have a walk into the valley and uh, take a look around see what it looks like here yesterday I didn't actually understand what this was about this place we've been recommended because when you're up on the road in villages you can't see this gorge but well, now we've come to this village Ilara and gone to the ticket office then we can come down to the gorge and let me see that's what it's about. And now he says the man here at the ticket office we can walk three and a half kilometers to the next little town down the gorge, have lunch there and then walk back here. No biking today. No. Come any bike here, this would be a little bit steep even for our bikes. <laughs> This is one of the one of the hundred churches in this valley here. So, uh, these are from the Christian era. You can see, been a little bit destroyed during the years. So. I read yesterday in the book that the painting had been destroyed both by Muslims and by Christians. The Muslims, of course, are not allowed to portrait any people so they have scratched out their eyes and their faces and the Christians because they believe that if they scratch off some of the paint and mixed with water and drank it then it would be healthy that's why they have destroyed it mm. and the last Christians left in 1923 it's not so long ago hmm? Now we're going to the Serpent Church. Okay, now we're inside the Serpent Church. In the Christian Church. There should be pictures of uh, snakes attacking uh, a mother in here that hasn't taken care of her children. So she was punished by being attacked by snakes. This must be the picture of the four women as attacked by snakes because they didn't feed the children or got the children properly. This would be the snakes you can see here. Yeah. 
That's, it's called the Serpent Church, that's why. Well, there's been people living in this, uh, this valley here for 10,000 years. And, uh, and there are actually uh, 4,000 dwellings where people have been living. And one, 100 of them are churches from the Christian era. So, um, so you can see dotted around on, on the, on the um, cliff edge you see there's lots of small holes with caves where you can get into the caves. So. 80,000 people used to live in this, uh, this valley here. So, and even uh, if you remember St. Paul, he's the guy that uh, we've been following from Corinth, Athens, he was also in Konya. He also came here, so a well-traveled guy to spreading uh, Christianity around this area 2,000 years ago. So. The people that live here has been, during the years have been uh, attacked many times um, by some soldiers and also by the Arabs, the Christian people. But they didn't leave the area, they lived in, in some underground cities and just came up to uh, farm the land. And those underground cities we are going to see within the next few days. Really nice valley just to go for a walk through here. Taking it easy and just uh, looking at the different rock formations and caves you can go in just uh, as long as you have a torch with you, you can go in and explore. Look at this really peaceful place just to wander around. So this is another one of these Persian style coffee shops where you just get your own small table and area and you just sit and relax. Looks great. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> it's not all of these uh, cliffs that look stable. Probably one of the nicest valleys I've ever walked in. All the uh, rock formations and caves to explore. Well worth uh, taking a detour if you're on the main road to Cappadocia, just a day or two here, well worth it. This is where we're going to have lunch today. I'll show it all. Okay, this is not a bad way to spend a Saturday afternoon here. Some nice kind of pancake with spinach is made. You just sit here and listen to the water. Looks like Jamie's fishing over there now. This is where we've just been enjoying our lunch here. There's also a restaurant on this side as well. future noisy thing. <laughs> it's quite an exhausting hiking tour today. We've gone from the restaurant, now we've gone to... We walked what, one and a half kilometers? To the next coffee shop. <laughs> oh, it's nice to rest the legs today. So now we'll sit here and look at the view. Awesome. Really, on this trip, we haven't really had many like resting days. No, real resting days? Yeah. No. It's until now, resting days have been uh, Sightseeing days, yeah. So today we're taking a little bit slower, so that's nice. Okay, 
it's just one final church that we didn't see this morning. Let's go and have a look at this. Okay, uh, one thing uh, that I, we have seen before, it's a problem to talk English to them. So now I have to uh, give a little present to mom. So when mom needs need to tell uh, the Turkish people on help, uh, she has some things for me. Yeah. Okay, my has baby. Camping side. Market, supermarket. Where are the toilets? Very useful. But it is quite good. She just dove straight in. But in Turkey, we're struggling a bit because they don't understand anything we say to them. They will. I will not can make myself understandable. But now Jamie has helped me with some drawings. Mm. So that's probably a good idea. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, so this is our second day on carport camping. We're starting to make ourselves a little bit at home. Yeah. <laughs> and, uh, this afternoon I've been working in there. There's a... I'll come and show you. There's nice tables with a nice view out over the canyon. Uh, that was my office this afternoon. It seems as if we've finally, after I don't know how many emails we've had, back and forwards to Iran, but now finally I think we may be getting there. That We just mm. need to send off the application form to the tourist agency in Iran tomorrow. And it looks like uh, Meda's parents and P. and Kirsten, if you remember them from Athens, they would like to come as well, so that's really great. So, uh, look forward to that. Yeah. yeah, so we just need to find out how we get through Turkmenistan after Iran. That's the only little detail we have left. Well, that's, and if you uh, can see we look a bit cleaner, that's because we just had a shower. I was joking with an elderly man that yeah. works here about he had a host pipe and say, oh, we need a shower. He said, oh, we have a shower room in here and ask if you can use it. And we could, and we had hot water and everything. So, now we're clean. Yeah. So, <laughs> and then, uh, yeah. so car park camping wasn't that bad after all. Perfect <laughs> location, right next to the start of the, the trek here we did today. So. Excellent. <laughs> okay, this is how it is in Cappadocia. <laughs> yeah, that's what we'll see. Lots and lots of leaves. So we've just been eating our Saturday dinner. Jim and I just having a game of Uno before bedtime. Did you? Yeah, we're sharing documents for Iran here in the restaurant. Office. <laughs> Very nice to sit here and then they just want a cup of tea. So.